Hi friends, David here from Above AVL, and today we want to talk about LED wall lyric banners. A couple months ago, you know, the people, Renewed Vision, the nice folks behind ProPresenter, came out with this new lyric banner product. And while it has some definite benefits, I think there's a lot of marketing hype with it. And honestly, like we can do better than that. So that's what we want to walk through today because they push a lot of things in their marketing, right? Which are not bad. Like it's a single cabinet or two cabinets that jump together. It's fairly simple, but it's actually not really any more lightweight than a standard bunch of LED wall panels. And you can't ever reconfigure it for anything else, especially if you get multiple. So let's talk about it, why and how to put together an LED Lyric strip. <laughs> Probably the biggest issues and frustrations that I have with the branded ProPresenter Lyric banner is, you know, it's a good, it's a high quality unit. There's nothing, you know, inherently terrible about it, but it kind of lacks the utility of being able to rearrange it into something else later. It is essentially six standard LED panels, square ones like this, or three if you were doing the larger rectangle ones. There's a few kind of negatives to it, right? Number one is you can't customize the size. It, it is what it is and that's what you get, right? Number two is it's really not modular at all um, should you need to swap something out. Number three, I don't love that you've got this LED panel up in the air above your stage. Again, weight's not a huge issue because honestly, you know, we're sitting in the sub 200 pound range for something that's 10 feet long. So that's 20 pounds per foot. Yes, you need to make sure whatever you have on stage can handle that kind of weight, but it's not that massive. It's not like a real full LED wall that can weigh significantly more. My issue is you can't customize the size and you can't, you know, buy it in such a way that you might be able to rearrange it later. Like with LED walls, we can't buy some panels today and buy some panels in a few years and expect them to match. But what we could do is if we were rolling out LED banners on our campus, we could go, hey, you know what? We're gonna buy this LED banner and we're gonna also buy maybe some for some risers or just some general utility use. Maybe we do some tall segments or maybe we do an LED banner in two different rooms on our campus, right? And if we buy them at the same time, get stuff from the same batch, then what we're gonna be able to do is later, if we wanted to build a small screen, if we wanted to do riser outlines, if we wanted to do some small vertical stripes on a stage or a kid's area, we could totally transform it into that. Oh, but that's what I was saying. So you get it up in the air and you've got an HDMI plug just hanging out on the back of this panel way up in the air, you know, above your stage. I don't love non-locking plugs in situations like that because like, for example, the other week, my overhead camera was not giving signal. I thought it was dead. I went up and the HDMI plug had wiggled out a little bit. And so that's just something to consider. Okay, so diving in, how hard is it to build a Lyric banner out of LED panels? It's actually not that hard. And we've got some packages on our site now that allow you to get a Lyric banner that's actually nicer than that competitor we talked about for about the same cost. So in my mind, it's kind of a no brainer. So what you're gonna need and what you're gonna get is assuming we're hanging it, you know, you've got LED wall panels. This one's the DVS Visra. Now, if we're doing just the exact same Lyric banner as that popular company, we're gonna do six panels and we can't sell Visra in under eight panels. That's something from the manufacturer, but we have another really awesome wall company that we've been working with for years called Creation LED that has a very, very similar LED wall panel in a package that we're able to sell and ship to you for around the same cost, but we're doing a 2.8 millimeter instead of a 3.9. So for the people in the front rows, it's gonna look a whole lot better. So you take a panel like this, right? And you know, the first step is taking the corner locks off. You're just gonna hang it on the hanging bar if it's going overhead. In the case of where I'm gonna put this wall together behind me on some my stage platforms, I'm not going to be using the hanging bars because I actually don't have enough due to a client that needed a couple extra recently. We shipped them out and I just haven't replenished them. In order to hang this, as simple as getting ready to go in the air, lining it up and I do need to adjust my feet because I had this on the ground and the feet were doing something. And then we're just going to latch it in, line it up real nice, push the latch and latch it in. For those watching along at home, 
aka all of you. The basic process, the backwards, is in on these walls, you just push it up, toggle this pin in, tighten it up, and you're good to go. Hang this from anywhere you want to hang it from. With that part done, now we're going to build it on some my stage platforms behind us here and show you the wiring. Now that's another benefit to our Lyric banner over that major brand is that you're able to rearrange this later if you need. And number two is just that we've got a processor now that's not sitting up in the air. And so it's just a network cable and just a power cable to the unit itself. 120 volt power all day long is great. Doesn't have to be 208. If you want it to be 208 though, it totally can. And so we'll unhook this guy here. And now we're gonna build this behind us. So this is gonna be pretty simple. We're simply gonna take six panels. This is, these are my stage decks. We love these things. I've only got eight feet here. So that's not going to be six panels, but we will figure that out as we go. We got our cables as well. So it's really just as simple. Pop off my corner protectors, right? I mean, you can do these Lyric banners on the ground if you want. There's no law saying you can't. And then it really just is as simple. Uh, setting them up, taking off my corner protectors. We have a whole video on putting up a LED wall too that walks through all of this. So, you know, you don't have to necessarily watch too closely here. We cover all that there. Of course, having a friend makes it much easier. Just like the major brand one we talked about, they also recommend this. Line them up, pin them in, perfect. Next panel, corner protectors, line them up. Perfecto. With any LED product, um, getting it on a perfectly flat surface is always key, which this is not, being that we were just between two stage decks. Pro tip with lining up LED wall panels is they really won't lock unless they're lined up perfectly. If you have a friend with you, that's the best thing because while you're in the back locking, they can make sure everything's lining up in the front. Okay, because again, they don't typically line up well unless they're lined up great on the front. So it looks like we're gonna be able to fit five out of six panels here. Not bad, good for a demonstration. Adding a six panel really didn't change the process. Perfecto, pinned and ready to go. So now let's go ahead and wire them. So wiring an LED wall is super simple. Like that's one of the things that the other Lyric banners really, you know, push is like, oh man, it's just one cable. But honestly, like a single person in about five minutes, even less, you'll have this thing wired, okay? First thing you gotta do, find your home run for your data and your main power cord. Okay, in this case, I've got it. It's hiding back there, so we're just gonna skip that for this moment. They would come in your power and data input, and then boom, between each panel, nice and easy. Go ahead and power first. So out of the first panel, we're pretending it's getting power already. You can go right to left, left to right, does not matter power them all together. A typical square LED panel like this will, will not consume all that much power around 120, 130 watts. So five or six of them, no problemo on 120 volt power. That's the max wattage too. It's worth noting that most of the panels that we do in a Lyric panel are also typically six to 800 nits of brightness at full. The other panel from the other people is a thousand nits, which just means you have to turn the brightness down further. You're gonna end up, you know, technically there's some slight degradation there. So we're a little closer in terms of brightness to what you'd want, having to turn it down a little bit less in the processor. And so as I mentioned, just power, boom, 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 right across. We're not gonna do them all for the sake of time. But you see that took about two minutes with me yapping. Data coming in from the home run first. Again, we're admitting that right now. Then, boom, data to the second cabinet. This is a network switch, so it's not really an in or an out. You just do whichever, of course. I like staying organized, so I like coming in from the previous panel and then going out to the next, in and out, following the order real nicely, staying consistent, so that if you do ever have to troubleshoot, it's easy. Okay, that's, I mean, it's a jumper. It's not technically from an LED wall. So we go out and into the last one. Cableage wise, you may notice you say, hey David, your, your cables are hanging down. Uh, so for a Lyric banner, if we're going to hang this, what I would do is just pop the cables through the handles. You'll still make it in plenty of distance. You'll be good to go. 
So you'll apply power, you'll hook them to the processor, and then we're good to go configure it. So what I'm gonna do is pause this video, flip these panels around for you, wire them, and then we'll hop into the computer, show you how easy it is to configure it and set it up, and then we'll be rocking and rolling. So this is what a typical wall is gonna look like when you first boot it up with no configuration in your processor. You just get five or six of the same thing, however many panels, it just repeats the same thing, which is the top corner of your display. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. Okay, some pros and cons there. So now, we're hopping into the Novastar VMP software, just easy download, runs on Macs, runs on Windows. And we click on our screen here that's with our KU20, we just stuck it on our network, it got an IP address. And we're gonna go to the layout tab, port one, it knows there's five panels. And then we're just gonna place it on our canvas, front view of how it's wired. Nope, so forgiving and easy enough because you can just literally go, add them back in, grab them all, shove them up to the corner if I want. Ta-da, nice, easy, beautiful, really nice looking Lyric banner. Better pixel pitch than the one from the major brand at the, really the same cost and more versatile. So how about that? In terms of configuration, it's actually worth noting here that looking over the renewed vision instructions is they've got their HDMI input on their processor set up as an exact resolution of that LED display, meaning that it's very wide and very narrow, okay? That works well when you send a direct HDMI. It can get a little funky and kind of make you bang your head against the wall, honestly, when you are sending a signal over SDI to HDMI converters. One of the things I love about keeping the processor separate from the screen is that between the processor and the wall itself, you've got an ethernet cable. It's following regular network principles, which means technically we can go up to about 300 feet between the two. That means you can plug your processor straight into your display. And then in VMP, you can set the resolution as custom, set these numbers to exactly the size of the display. So for example, in front of me, I have a 2.9, which if I'm doing the math right, is 128 pixels tall times 768 right, 128 by 768, the uh, official Lyric banner from Renewed Vision, yeah, is 128 by 768. So no, so that would be for 3.9, so 2.9 is, we'll write it on the screen. Regardless, you know, you have the ability to send a custom resolution in that the HDMI out from your computer would actually be read by your computer as that exact resolution. And then there's almost no configuration in any program. Okay, in this case, I am going through some SDI converters. So I'm sticking with a full size canvas, a 16 by nine canvas, and I've placed the, the actual panels within them. So let's just for fun, go ahead and open up, uh, I think I have Proclaim on here. So I'm gonna install Proclaim really quick, log in from my church's login, and just set up a quick output and run some lyrics on this banner so you can see it. And ta-da! That's it, you can see here, I mean, look at this. These lyrics are clear. Our camera is only a few feet away, including here, and it looks crisp, it looks clean, it looks clear. It's definitely worth going from that 3.9 mil to 2.8, um, especially in those front seats. If you use it the way that a lot of people use it, you hang it kind of around the front of your stage, People in those front seats might be 15, 20 feet away from it. A 2.9 or 2.8 millimeter wall looks really good. Okay, and you can see that here. And so, hey, it was that simple. Gosh, in under like 20, 30 minutes, we built a Lyric banner, we put it together, we configured it in the software, and we have the ability to either change it in the future, we have the ability to do different sizes that fit our church perfectly for our Lyric banner, and, you know, if we buy multiple at once, we have the ability then in the future, if we want to use it in an alternative space for an alternative use, we can do that as long as all of our LED panels match and go together. Not only that, of course, if you're buying it at the same time as a larger wall, you get everything together, they all match, and if you need to reconfigure in the future, you totally can. And so this is why, you know, when companies come out with stuff like this, like, I get it, there's definitely a specific use case where the ProPresenter Lyric Banner works really well for people that just have zero technical knowledge, you know, no desire to change, you know, whatever. It's a pretty decent fit. 
However, if you want a little bit better quality, if you want something that's, you know, nicer, tighter pixel pitch, better look to it, and, you know, you don't mind, just honestly, I don't know if it's even any more work to put it together and put it in your space, then we've got the packages for you over on our site. Not only do we have pre-built Lyric banner packages, but we also have the ability to quote out anything you need. So if you say, you know what, David, this is cool doing it like this, this is this is fine, but I, what I would love to do is, you know, do this instead or do that or do, do it taller, do it wider, do multiple of them with the ability to reconfigure into screens later, we got your back. Head over to Above AVL, check out our Lyric banners. And if you're not sure what you need, hey, hop over to our LED wall calculator. Feel free to fill it out. Let us know the size you're looking for and we'll start that conversation with you to help you get the right thing in your hands so that you can create an awesome service or event with a new Lyric banner. So I hope you enjoyed this. You know, kind of myth busting the myths on Lyric banners. It doesn't have to weigh more than the one from Renewed Vision. It doesn't have to be harder to set up and it can look even better. So hey, if you're looking for a Lyric banner, reach out. We love to help and get the right thing into your hands and make it easy for you guys to start making incredible stuff with it. If that sounds good, we'll see you over at AboveAVL.com. Thanks.